What's up, y'all? It's your boy Crazy Al Kane, CAC TV, right here at A3C. Be over here by the Jägermeister stage and all that. A lot of things going on, man. A lot of MCs that you see online with some big movements doing their thing, represent for the underground, doing their thing, doing big movements, man. It's real good to see them all. And this one cat right here, Phil Ade, doing his thing, man. He's gonna tell us what's popping and what's up with his movement. I'm saying right now we just out here grinding, man. I got a show later on at the backstage, the Ear Milk stage over at 650. I'm be rocking, but nah, man. I'm just staying busy, you know. Coming to events like this, uh, hitting the road, you know, doing shows at different schools. I mean, I'm just been staying busy, you know. I, I just dropped a um, project not too long ago with Different World. Um, a lot of homies on there, Knife Wonder Bing, you know, Mac Miller. You know what I'm saying I'm just staying busy, man. I'm working, cause you know, when I get back home, we gonna be shooting some videos and stuff, man. And, um, you know, follow me on Twitter, man. That's really where you can find it and see what I'm doing, what I'm up to all the time, man. Feel like they 3 one At sign P-H-I-L-A-D-E 3 one Feel like they represents the DMV area, you know what I'm saying? DMV all day. I was trying to come down there and try and see if I could find you so we can link up. I got a uh, series called Spitting in the Whip that I want to get you on there. So maybe, maybe next time when you're back in New York, we can link up and get you on that. It's whatever, man. I'm down for whatever, man. That's what's up. That's what's up. So tell us about... Um, you're an independent artist still, right? And um, what's is it is it beneficial for you to stay independent or would you sign a uh, would you try to get in bed with a, a major label at this point with all the success you've been having so far by yourself? Like I think with the game now really what it's about is just trying to gain leverage, you know what I'm saying? Um, as far as as far as it, I mean if you plan on getting a major label deal cuz uh, like what I'm seeing now the game is like it's to a point where anybody could put their own stuff out like you could put push yourself to the blogs and just get out there and build your own following and really have that fan base and um really the, the goal is to really see as far to, to take it as far as you can go independently and then um you know when you get to that point where you feel like you're sealing off maybe get with a major and do do a deal but i'm, I'm seeing a lot of artists like my homie mac miller they don't they don't need a major label and um, you know, that's what we're doing right now. We're just trying to work and get to that point. So hopefully we don't need a major label to get to that level. Can you say that you support yourself doing this music? Is it is that you don't need a nine to five or or are you just you, you good just off of hip hop? Nah, nah, I think we we I've worked myself to a point where I can be good, I can feed myself, have a roof over my head, you know what I'm saying? Dress myself well enough, you know, to be presentable. So, like, yeah, I, I'm good right now, you know. But of course, when I'm not where I want to be, so you know, that's that's what we're working towards now. So, so for people who are coming up in the game, trying to, um, you know, get on, you know, following this this this, this hip hop thing and um, being an independent artist, um, you know, the whole financial thing is always an important thing. You know, we have the economic crisis and all that shit going on. But um, for people who say there's no money in hip hop, there are different things that you can do, you know what I'm saying, to, to get that money. So is there any advice to some of the young MCs or up and coming MCs to help them, you know, uh, be able to, uh, to, 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 to maintain themselves doing hip hop? Doing music. Man, like, you know, it's work to get to that point, you know. Like, really, your best bet is, you know, trying to find every outlet that you can, you know, possible. Whether it be open mics, you know, handing CDs out after uh, after the club, where, where I mean wherever you can go, and really trying to get, I, I guess, a backing, you know, somebody that will support your music and help you get to that point, so that you can start making that making that money. And that's you know that's what a uh, three six eight music group, for, for those that know, that's just the label I'm signed to. Um, it started by Raheem Devon and, and my manager Dre Demir. You know what I'm saying, you know, they helped me get to that point. I was working a job, you know, doing the music, and they helped me work to that point to where I can go out and do shows and get the money that I need to, you know, survive. Where, what, what part of the, uh, the, the industry do you find you make the most money from? Is it shows? Is it CDs? You know what I'm saying? Where, where, do, you, where do you get your most income from? This is, this is not just me. This is everybody. Shows. Shows is it. That's, that's it right there, you know. Label, the, really the label is what makes, you know, from, the, makes the most money from from the albums, but l like I said, you know, independent independently, you end up getting it around like half. So it's always better to you know see, try to see as far as you can go, you know, by on your own independently. And one more thing, three sixty deals. Your opinion? Um, I'm not a fan, of course. 
being an artist, but I understand it. Cause you know, with uh, with everybody, with the internet, it's harder for labels to make money. So they're trying to do whatever they can, you know, to to, to make money. So I understand it, but at the same time, from my point of view, I, I I ain't rocking with it. You use like one particular cat for your videos, right? For the um the series that I did at the beginning of the year called Feel Like Day Friday, um we you know we shot video, we try to shoot videos every week. Uh, the one dude shot the videos. In fact, he was just here. He left. His name Chop and Shoot on Twitter. It's at sign Chop and Shoot. Hustle, come here, Hustle. Come here, Hustle. For those who don't know, this is Hustle Simmons. You know, he's a real, he's a real cool dude from Chicago. You know, this is Big Brother right here. No matter of fact, this is how y'all gonna know. A while ago, Big Sean had a show. And the dude who I guess who didn't get to perform grabbed the mic and threw it up in the air and this guy here tackled him. It was on World Star, it was on Blog, it was it was everywhere. This is Hustle Simmons, aka hip hop show showcase tackler. What's up? This is your boy Hustle Simmons. This is like this is what hip hop is doing to people. You see this? This is this is awesome. He just threw up something. I don't know what he threw up. He threw up he threw up hip hop. Did you swallow it? He just built hip hop and he just took it down. See, that's why we out here, man. Yo, we out here supporting hip hop, man. I'm very proud of, very, very proud of Phil like they put on for DC, man. If y'all watching this, he's that dude. He's holding, the, he's one of the dudes holding the torch. He's that dude too. I ain't that dude. That's helped me get to the point where I could be that dude. I ain't that dude. Yeah, I'm, the, I'm, I'm a dude. Don't get me wrong. But you ain't that dude. I ain't that dude yet. You ain't that dude. And you know, he's at that point. He's helping me. This is my big brother, man. All day. You know, you know what that is. He's a leader. Hell yeah. Never follow. Hell yeah, man. Shout out to them, man. They always hook me up. Every time he come to DC, he hook me up with a leaders, leaders cap, man. This is homie, man. We got the sneakers to go with him first, though. We got to match. We got to match our sneakers to our hat. He got those turn off the light joints. <laughs> you know, that's what we do. We rock those sneakers. You know, people come. Like, the difference between me and a real hip-hop, hip-hop dude, real, real hip-hop dude don't bathe every day. Like, for real. Like, real hip-hop dudes don't have pages, none of that. So And they breath smell like th three-week-old weed. And bad breath. Wait, the thought of that is very disgusting, but yes, it smells like... You know, they, they, they talk about earth, but it's like they really eat dirt from the earth, you know what I'm saying? But I love that, man. They're about the culture and stuff. But I'm a hip-hop dude, but I like to be fresh. I like women. Hip-hop dudes ain't in it for the women. They really in there to just rap. Man, that's a real hip-hop dude. What, what hip-hop dude don't like women in to be fresh? The hip-hop dudes who don't bathe every day. I don't know, man. I have to I have to disagree with you on that one. It's the ones that, breathe, that bathe every day and have soft hands and shit like that that don't be with the girls. Oh, this right here. This is Sunny Norway. He damn near produced, damn near, damn near what? Like, damn near everything, you know? Like, damn near, like, what, 90%? I say 90% of everything that y'all hear. Where you from again? Where you from, bro? Chicago. From Chicago. There's something about these dudes that be in this extremely cold weather, you know what I'm saying, where it be snowing in motherfucking September. These cats be in the house, they got more time in the house. Be coming up with the hottest beats and the hottest rhymes. You know what I'm saying? What's going on with that? Yo, we gotta be we gotta be mindful of the weather. And, and first off, you gotta be mindful of the weather. And then second, you gotta be mindful of getting shot. So we gotta pay attention to stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So when we get out of Chicago and we get to go to the warm, like right now, it's probably cold as shit in Chicago. Yeah, so I'm clowning. Yeah, I'm clowning right now. That's why these cats is ill on the mic. Just like if you go to Canada, be like, yo, why there's so many dope MCs in Canada? These niggas got snow right now in Canada. You know what I'm saying? I think it has something to do with the weather. I, Drake never gets a haircut because it's Canada. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to have a haircut in Canada. They don't care about that. Drake started falling off because he's like, he's in warmer climates now, so he falling off. You look at, listen, listen, hey, listen, 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 listen to Drake. Listen to Drake when he first came out. Listen to him now. You be like, wait a minute. This, He's, 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 it's, a, it's a little different. It ain't as hot as it used to be because, cause, you know, he's in a warmer climate. I can honestly say I've never heard anything whack from Drake. I've never heard anything whack. Now, I, uh-oh. 
the views of, um, of my man right here does not necessarily reflect the, the views of Ade, my man right here. Y'all don't have to answer that or even get involved with that, okay? I'm, I'm getting y'all off the hook on that one. <laughs> but now, nah, man, shout out to Drake. Man, you know what, on some real, shout out to any young dude out there living their dream, man, rapping, performing, like my man doing beats. My man uh, rapping and shit, like, I, I love that. I can't do none of that. That's why I'm behind the scenes. But, man, if you got a video, man, you do motherfucking pictures, you make beats, whatever, yo. Follow your dreams. Don't listen to these motherfucking haters. Fuck a hater. But the best thing, though, haters give you the best advice. Because you must be doing something right. For real, listen to your haters. Like, figure out what they hating on. And then just, like, you know what I'm saying, build on top of that. That's what I did, so. You know you're doing a good job when the hater has to actually fess up and give you props for what you do. That's the whole goal to dealing with haters is get them, get something out there where they just might be like, you know what, I, I can't say no more. Dude is hot. It's all about these two dudes, man. Phil I Day, Sonny Norway. They, 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 this is Drake, this is 40, if you want to think of it in that way. So it's the, it's the, you can't, you can't separate the two. They make nothing but crack in the studio. So I'm going to let them go back to the interview. But it's all about being a leader. And it's all about following your motherfucking dreams. Oh, and to all you fat girls, I don't fuck with no more. I'm sorry, I just got money now, so my bad. <laughs> He's still going though. Yeah, man. Dos shout, out to, shout out to Stadium. Dawson is back. <laughs> Yo, man, it's the boy Phil I Day. You know, I'm just staying busy right now, man. I've been I've been doing a lot of work. Um, a couple weeks ago, I had my homie Casey Veggies. We did a record together. Um, over a Cardo beat. You know, I'm just staying busy, man. I'm shooting videos. Hold on. Hold on. Yo, this is my lawyer. Like, he also DJ. Like, he's actually my lawyer. Like, real shit. Like, so if anybody's trying to sue me, and he's drinking. Like, got his lawyer glasses on. What's good? Esquire in the building. What's good? BBU. It's all about feel like that. I had to answer right. This guy's a superstar. Like, he just got to be in front of the camera, Joe. Like, but yeah, man. We just staying busy, you know. 368 all day. Royal fam. You know, all that, man. You know, I'm just staying busy. Uh, I got a, sh a lot of shows coming up. Um, man, it's a lot of stuff, man. I really, like, real talk. I have to sit myself down sometimes and talk to my manager and figure out, like, what is going on. Because I really, like, get in front of the camera and be, like, not knowing what the fuck to say. But yeah, man, I'm, like like I said, man, I'm working, working on another project right now. It's untitled. Like I said, I have a couple tracks. Uh, I like, uh, did a joint with uh, Cardo, did a joint with Casey. Um, I have a joint that I'm about to put out with Los, you know, another artist from Baltimore. But yeah, man. Speed it up, fam, speed it up. Oh, you press the wrap it up box on me? All right. Well, look, man, this is what it's about, man. CAC TV, man. Feel like day 301. Follow me. It's the fam, man. We are here. Back to you, Billy. Crazy, okay, TV.